So for my recent trip to Kyoto, I had different video ideas, but I wanted to move with the flow and see how things unfolded. But I had one thing pretty much decided, is that I wanted to do a night street photography session with my 85mm. I have been to Kyoto several times before, but it was quite some time ago, and without the same passion I have for photography and videography. So I was really excited to uh, go there again and shoot with my 85mm. Obviously, I had some expectations of the shots I could take and how the photography session would, uh, would go, but um, I can tell you that it went really well and I'm really excited to share that with you. I already started shooting before the sun was fully set because I was heading to this area I wanted to shoot in. So the first quarter of the video will be around this time, still with the quite a bright environment, and then we'll move to the meaty gritty. Enjoy! How would felt to see Kyoto without tourists, or almost not? I'm really glad and grateful that I could experience it as a photographer, videographer, but at the same time it's uh, quite sad, I think. I may elaborate more on this in a separate video, but that's my impression in a one-word brief form for now. Some of the shots, photos and video clips are shot with the Moment Cinebloom 10% filter. I like the look it can give to your photos and footage, but at night, depending on the source of light and your position, you have these little flares that are really not so nice and feels a bit cheap, but when it eats well though, it can give really cinematic shots I think.
I really hope that anybody will be able to enter in Japan around end of the year, but more realistically, it looks like it will be around next year, I think. I feel privileged now to be able to live here as a foreigner, but at the same time, I can feel this weird climate and I can feel that people here uh, feel that something is a bit off, uh, especially because in recent years the tourism has boomed so much in Japan. I really hope that the situation will move for the better in the really near future and I will be really excited and glad to meet any of my subscribers coming to Japan for a short trip.
So lately I dedicated more time and energy to create videos for YouTube and I'm still trying to find my style and find my pace. But time goes on and I think I'm, I'm slowly getting there. I received some comments asking for more uh, reactions and commentary during my photo walks or other videos. But I think I'm not really fit for that. First reason and easy one is that when I'm doing a photo walk, I'm quite focused on trying to get good shots. And the second, which is a bit more personal, um, is that I think I'm someone that needs time to process things. I'm a kind of an introvert and whenever I'm asked about my reaction just after seeing a movie or seeing a beautiful landscape, it's pretty hard for me to find a good words and have some decent speech and decent comments about this. I'd rather stay quiet and take a bit more time to process what happened and formulate an opinion after I have cooled down. So knowing that about me, I think for my YouTube videos, I prefer to do this kind of uh, voiceover comments or talking headshots only after I experienced one thing or after my photo walks. I'm exhausted but really happy at the same time. Today was just like a Japan enthusiast photographer dream day in a way. I had the most fun shooting in, in quite a long time. Not that uh, shooting around my place in Hiroshima recently have been boring, far from that, but it's just like it was hectic today, especially uh, the night session. It was just fantastic and so much fun, really happy that uh, it turned out this way, uh, looking forward to edit the pictures, but for now I will go to bed.